It is a very difficult country in terms of topography, and many areas are hard to reach. Traversing that terrain to get to a rural village can take hours, even though it's a very short distance. Today, if a mother is giving birth and suffers from postpartum hemorrhaging, her life is dependent on getting a blood transfusion. There are many different types of blood types. They have a limited shelf life. And the challenge is when you need blood, you need it immediately. But it is uh, unpredictable which geography that will occur in. Hospitals that are in more remote areas can have a very hard time getting enough reliably supplied blood. The time to order and uh, get the supplies by truck is just too, too late. It is a team of Rwandese who came together with Zipline to groom the project and to make it happen in Rwanda. Their ultimate vision is to put each and every one of those 11 million citizens within a 15 to 35 minute delivery of any essential medical product that they could need. And that's a revolutionary idea for any country in the world. The use of drones to deliver life-saving medical products can overcome the lack of road infrastructure. We need to let our imagination soar. When you have a commodity, rare in supply, that might be an unusual blood type or something like a rabies vaccine, and you need it immediately, the idea that we could use a drone to be able to deliver this to the country is absolutely brilliant. There's nothing else that could do that in that way. It is like we will no longer go around the hills, but we fly over the hills. We've pulled together a team from places like Boeing, SpaceX, Google, Lockheed Martin, and it's an honor for Zipline to partner with the government of Rwanda. We place a hub next to an existing medical warehouse, and it instantly enables that warehouse to make hundreds of deliveries per day to any location within range. The doctor sends us their order by text, by phone call, whatever's convenient. Somebody identifies the need and then prepares the package, puts it on the drone. And then we take that vehicle and we put it through pre-flight tests. It's launched, it flies automatically out to the clinic. The path has been already calculated, it's in the computer. And then they'll receive a text message saying, Zip is two minutes away, please walk outside. It drops the packet. Somebody goes and collects it. It turns around, it flies home, and then we get it ready for the next delivery. Our service not only makes it possible, but also affordable for countries to deliver reliable access to essential medicines for all of their citizens. What we are looking forward to see here is saving lives.